Yeah, okay. Let's uh, play at your device. Okay. And now, and, but it's also raining. So this is going to be your first try your device. Okay. What's going to happen? in the rain, it might be more like this. Because you get, the rain could wash off the chemical and make it the reed not so strong. I don't know, I just have no idea how it might affect things. Hmm. How does it affect the ants? I don't even know. That's their, they're yeah, still, they're, they're still doing it. Whoa, look at this guy. It's strange. Whoa. It's like a cricket thing. It's like a strange cricket. So then, okay. So act out your full weird system you got. So that's with including this thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So basically, you have this thing between uh, sensing the hand, so you'd be like. So this would knock all the ants into this little collection bucket. So it would be holding something here. Okay, and then you got CO2. There's ants. CO2, ants, ants falling. falling. Oh, ants falling. They're falling. They're actually falling. So now we have this. And we can detect maybe, are they making some sort of alarm pheromone? Hmm. So, now, so the bucket's got the sensor on it. So now the bucket has a different sensor on it. And maybe we could, I don't know how the sensors work, but maybe we could tune them. So there's a trailing pheromone and there's also an alarm pheromone. Oh, we can have like just a bucket of sensors and we just like dump stuff on there and see what gets Which triggered. Ones get triggered. Huh. And they could have a different sound. Yeah. For each one, you could have like a. Oh, so you you'll, like you'll a... modulate um, them. Yeah. Okay, so modulation means identity of what, what specific sensor and frequency is related to intensity of, of detection. Yeah, that would be sweet. Cool. Okay, let's do that again, okay? Okay. Let's do your whole performance. Whole um, performance. Uh, I'll be your, your CO2 coming out of here okay. uh, for you to knock things in. And we're just going to do it as don't even explain anything. Okay. Just uh, go just through done. your performance like like two or three times okay. um, as if everything's real, okay? Okay. Ready? Yep. Oh no, we lost some. Alright, so we do it again? Do it again. Okay. Reset your bucket. Your bucket's all, it's still got old ants in it. My bucket's got all kinds of ants. We'll have to figure out a way to, to uh, modify our bucket. Um, or to cleanse the bucket between trials. Yeah, true. Bucket cleanser. Okay. Now, oh, sorry. Uh, should we, this thing, is it gonna be part of the whole assemblage of some sort of, you know, rotating around thing? Oh yeah, thing? part of the bucket? Of or, the bucket arm? Uh, I don't know. Uh, well, your bucket arm's below, right? Right. Um, but is the CO2 thing hooked directly up to this? Oh, I didn't think about that. So like, that. it's all one device, and whenever it, it triggers something, then it just starts squirting, right? Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, let's try that. Okay, because we'll need something to move both of these. Yeah, okay. So, oh yeah, that's a kind of a cool idea. So when this senses, it triggers the CO2. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, we need something to attach it here, because our bucket arm is gonna be on here. Mm -hmm. I'll just I'll just hold it like this. Sure, that's good. Okay. Okay, lights, camera, action.
Okay. Alright. So now we figured out which alarm pheromones, or which pheromones they're emitting. Alarm or trail. Cool. Or if they're emitting any. Alright, now let's do the, the inverse sensor. The inverse so now, sensor. um, now whenever this thing doesn't detect trail pheromone, it shoots out CO2. Um, so it's just oh, inverse. Right, right, right. Okay. I mean, see what it does to the, the, the ant trails. Okay. It's a very messy zone we're at. Yeah. We, Maybe we go, if we try yeah, it we out over here. Yeah, we see a few the fall out of that zone there. <laughs> They've dropped all their leaves in the rain. Look at this. Some of them, at least. Cool. Cool. Performance. Performance. Yeah. Nailed it. How'd it go? I don't know. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> we'll have to reflect on it. Yeah. Are there anything? Oh, oh, I think. Okay. Since we're doing performances, every time we finish one, we should bow. Oh, okay. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Performance over. Um, cool. So yeah, are there any things you, are there any things you realized or thought differently when we acted through things versus kind of the planning stage? So when we're actually acting through things, I was thinking about the speed at which I'd have to move the device. Oh. I'd be like, oh well, how fast am I going to be moving this thing? Also, like if I'm moving past the leaf cutter line, the trigger has to be pretty quick. Hmm. So it's like as soon as it detects it, it's got to trigger it on. And the trigger this. On how speedy it is. We didn't uh, because it doesn't have CO2 in it because we were just pretending. Mm -hmm. We didn't even go through how it actually needs a mechanism to twist right. it too. Yeah, exactly. So that'll be a whole other thing with this. Because right now we just kind of had like kind of the electrical metaphor where it's just like sense through action. Yeah. Yeah, we skipped a few steps. In there. Yeah, are there other steps you think that we unskipped because of this? I mean, you were saying, talking about the speed. Oh, yeah. You know how, like, we just said we just skipped, like, this kind of step. Oh, yeah. But are there other things that made themselves more apparent other than the speed? Uh, or like the speed? Yeah, it would be interesting to do just a, a longer performance, of, you know, we just kept doing something persistently for like, you know, got a stopwatch for like just 10 minutes or something. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Cool. Sweet. Thanks, Peter. Yeah, you got it. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It'll be some sort of interview technique.